set and I heard the angels sing because finally all the stuff we love in our crafting world or your hobbies or even if it's your home office, you can truly get organized with, of course, the origami. And I specifically wanted to start back here because I love my Cricut Maker and we have it in stock, but a lot of us have vinyls and paper and all that stuff. Imagine having one whole just Cricut station for all the things you have. Some of the features I love just personally, and this is you guys' request is, will you make it deeper? I can't tell you how many emails I get from my crafting gals who say, gosh, does that shelf from origami, is it deep enough to hold my 12 by 12 paper? And I have to write them back and say, no, unfortunately it's gonna kind of flop over the sides of it. Not anymore, guys, look at this. I'm gonna pull this out, check this out. Now you can hold full 12 by 12 albums or paper or those big um, Cricut, um, the sticky mats, they all can finally go inside a great origami system. And also, even if you say, well, you know what, maybe I'm not a big crafter, wait till you see the hundreds of ideas that we're gonna show you tonight where you can use it way more than just your crafting or your hobbying uh, uh, talents, but really for almost any organizing in your home. All right, we got great colors tonight. We're gonna go through them. We have the black, the bronze, the navy, platinum, red, turquoise, and white. And I'm gonna get my special guest, Miss Tracy Rosa, out here because she's gonna tell us all about the origami magic. Aren't you so excited? Can you tell? I know, and we were talking about this the other day. We haven't had this on in at least six months. It's been years in the making to get this as a today special. As soon as we launched this cart, it became a huge customer pick because not only do you use it as a craft cart, you can use it as a dressing station. You can use it in your bathroom. I know it says crafting. I know you're a crafter and you love it and it's great for that, but it's really great for storage and organization. I renamed it, even on my card, yeah. home and hobby. Yes. It's home and hobby, yeah. it's not just crafting. No, because this is a, our tallest drawer system. There are six drawers. We've got four thinner drawers and two really deep drawers, but this is origami, okay? Why do we like origami so much? The fact that you're gonna get this craft cart and you are not gonna have to worry about any assembly at all. All of the drawers come all the way out. And as I stack these like this, take a look and just look at the amount of capacity that you're getting with this entire drawer system. Remember, all of these drawers, powder coated steel. So that's huge, look at that. Look at the amount of capacity you're getting with this. Okay, how does this work? Well, we flip it over. Oh, I'm sorry, Suzanne. <laughs> it just shows you how big it is. Exactly. All Stay right. out of the way when they flip it over. <laughs> and then look, this is it. So it comes flat packed like this. All of these drawers nest, so that's phenomenal. So if you ever wanna store it, it's literally like storing just one drawer. You open it up, there's not even an origami clasp. You flip this back over. You're gonna notice right here, we have two little holes up here. So you got these holes, and how do you assemble it? You marry these holes with these pegs. Okay, so you line them up perfectly, and then, it locks right into place, okay? Now you bring the drawers in. Notice that our tracks, Suzanne, they don't have any wheels, they don't have any uh, thing that it's gonna get stuck in. You slide in nice and easy like that, okay? And they slide beautifully. Beautifully. Even full, they and slide here's a, great. Yeah, 10 pounds each. Even the thin ones are gonna hold 10 pounds worth of weight. And you're gonna load these down, trust me, when you get them home, and they're still gonna slide nice and easy. Notice how thick these are. These are just under six inches deep, so you're really gonna be able to get a lot of stuff into that. There you go, we've got six full drawers. And then in case you weren't excited enough, um, you get another wood shelf right here. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, so look at the complete workstation that you're getting. And this also locks in the design itself. And what I love is, let's say you wanna work, like I love crafting standing up. Yes. So if you have your Cricut machines and it's zipping in and out, I just like to, I like to wrap gifts and all that. I stand up a lot. Mm -hmm. I like this height, it's nice and high, but I love the fact that you can pop this up and if you lower it down, you can work at counter height. Mm -hmm. So if you so you've got options on the height on this, and that was a big aha yeah. for me. I was like, oh my gosh, it's right at counter height, so it's perfect for me to work on my projects right here while I'm standing. Also, if you pull it up against a chair, it's easy to get to everything. Mm -hmm. And the greatest part about this is when it's packed out, it easily rolls to wherever you need to be. And you know what's also awesome about the drawers is they pull completely out. Mm -hmm. So how many times you try to get into the back of a drawer and you can't see that embellishment that's back there, or you're having a tough time 
time grabbing that stamp set you want. Right, like it drives absolutely. You crazy, right? And we actually include stoppers for the drawers in case you don't want them to come out. So oh. you have both options as well. That's great. So in case you think it may be a little top heavy on the front and you don't want to carry like a really heavy drawer out, it'll stop there. And I'll show you that on some of the other models. But with my embellishments, I like to pull them all out. I agree. I want to dig through them and find them. Absolutely. So that's one of the great things. You can pull a basket out, stick it on your table, do your crafting stuff, and then slip it away. Now, understand, we do not have a lot of these. In fact, Tracy and I were meeting beforehand, and we were really, honestly, kind of surprised. We only have a little bit over 9,000 for the entire big day. This is great for home. It's great for hobby. It does not matter. It's that wonderful, wonderful origami name that have gone on to become customer picks time and time again. And girls, this is something you'll never, and I normally don't say this on the air, I don't think you'll ever regret getting one. Number one, because you'll find a million uses for it. But really, the second reason is, it's because now your life just becomes so organized. Mm -hmm. I find that I finally got my crafting stuff organized. I do more projects. I create more fun cards. I really enjoy my time because I'm not digging anymore. I'm not trying to search for that one dumb stamp. Where the heck is it? Right. Once it's organized, then you really enjoy the idea of taking those little slivers of time in our busy lives and being able to be creative. Uh, we're going to go over colors yes, next. Please do. And then we'll talk about uses. Absolutely. Okay, so Okay, this is that beautiful black. I want you to notice as we go through the colors, the different wood tones. Green. Origami has nailed it. So you've got the beautiful black and you kind of have like a walnut uh, wood tone to this as well. So you're getting that beautiful combination. Next, brand new, is our navy. Okay, this is a true, true navy. Green. I love this, the way that we've paired it with that beautiful light oak as well. Again, giving that wonderful kind of Nantucket nautical theme mm -hmm. feeling. That's all the rage now. Put this in a white crafting room. I mean, it's really going to pop. Turquoise. I mean, really huge, huge, huge customer pick. It's very retro. Okay. And it's most popular right now. Ah, makes perfect that sense. That looks fantastic. It does. And look at, again, that is absolutely gorgeous with that wonderful wood tone and that light like oak on top of it. Again, I huge. I give you a size reference. This is a full size... No, this is the Gemini Mini. Mm -hmm. This is our Junior Mini, but a full-size Gemini definitely fits on here. Yeah, because this is two feet long. Yeah, that's Okay, great. so just remember that you're getting a lot of surface space, and you've got that space underneath. That top shelf there holds 50 pounds worth of weight, and that second shelf holds 20. So uh, the white, again, kind of has that dark walnut look to it, but a very, very rich tone as well. Right. Love that. Very clean. I even think great for the laundry room. And then next to it, um, look at... kind of love in this one? Okay, I'm a great... I, I feel like every tone in my house is gray. Like I feel like I'm totally copying the magazines over there and like I, I want to see that hot color. It's like a white wash, or not a white, but what would you call that? Like a white well, washy gray, when you, you know? see this, see how it's got these gray tones to it? Look it is. at that. It's kind of a gray with a white wash on it. Yeah. So and that, then, love that. I think that's really, really good. Looking. I agree. And that's brand new too. So I think right. that's sick. And then the, the one next to it is that vintage bronze, which is, Pretty. it's rich, you know? Yeah. And that vintage bronze is cool because when you get it home, there are specks of gold in it. So if you have dark tones, if you have um, leathers and woods, and that's going to bring it all together with that. So loving all of those. Okay, guys, I am on Facebook Live. We're doing that every night at midnight now. So if you have any questions, oh. everybody's saying hi. Eric and Janice and Nora and Patty and Tracy says, I heart origami. <laughs> Tracy, I want you to write to me, why do you love origami? Or better yet, come through and tell us why you love origami. Say hi to Tracy and let us know what do you love best about it. For me, it's just, it's so worth it because you'll never find anything out there, whether it's particle board or plastic, that's going to be so well built and last for so long and is so versatile. You know, you can get a lot of shelving stuff out there, but it has a thousand pieces and you don't know what to do with it or it's plastic and you know it's not going to hold anything. Oh, this is my house. This is really built to last. Mm -hmm. So what did you do with that's that? My, okay, so this, I use it as a dressing station. You can see that's my wedding picture Cute. right there. And look at, I have all the my jewelry. Yeah, my chunky necklaces. Okay, Clever. and then all of our colognes underneath and then under, uh, we have purple purses, clutches, I've got my scarves rolled up, my husband's got a million sunglasses, they live there. But that stuff I think is beautiful. So I use it as like a little bit of decor, but so now smart. it's not getting tangled and it's not getting messed up. And how how easy is it to get ready in the morning? Because you are a busy exactly. mom. Exactly. You and your like husband are always on the go. Yeah. Like, like crazy. It's everything, I have an earring station there, you know, it's perfect like that. I got a, a mirror there so I can use it. But look, that's that 12 by 12 paper you're talking about. Yeah. And you can see Thank you've got goodness. two of them side by side. 
side. Wait, wait, can I say? Yeah. That's really well thought out, guys. One of the biggest requests I've ever gotten when people write me and say, Suze, I want to buy an origami shelf. Is it deep enough? And the vast majority are not. So that is so well thought out to be able to do two 12 by 12 side by side mm -hmm. because they're never usually deep enough. Okay, so we'll do that. Let's do the depth of the doors, Marsha. There you go. We're yeah. going to answer your question. Okay, so here we go. This, remember, let's talk about this. This is two feet long here, the top one, and it's 13 inches deep. We'll talk about these drawers. These drawers are powder coated steel. They are super strong. They're about two and a half inches deep on the small one. I love that you get both options with the thinner drawers because listen, you have smaller items. You know, you don't want really deep drawers for your teeny tiny, um, really intricate crafting needs. You know, you want the thinner drawers so they don't get lost. But listen, these bottom two, I got a ruler because I want you to see what I'm talking about. This here is close to just about six inches deep. Look at that right there. Okay, about six inches deep. So you really get a ton of capacity when you get down to these two bottom drawers. And no matter what drawer you choose, whether it's the thinner ones or these really thick ones, you're gonna be able to get 10 pounds in each one of these. They slide in and out, nice like that. And then all you do is grab this extra wooden shelf and slide this in. Notice right here though, take a look at this, okay? This locks it all in. So like Suzanne said, if you wanna work, use this as a workbench, you're not gonna have to worry about if it's wobbly or anything, it locks right into place. Okay, we got some questions. Good, good. Uh, Manish Misty, Mystery wants to know, could the wheels be taken off thinking of using it next to an industrial poster bed as a nightstand? Absolutely. That's a great, get the gray. Yeah. Oh, 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 yes, yes. That'll look so good. Great question. Absolutely, you can take the wheels off. We're all about customizing when it comes to origami. You can do what you want. Wheels on, wheels off, powder coated steel, indoor use, outdoor use, all of that. Drawers can come all the way out or we even give you stoppers so they don't come all the way out in case you're a little nervous if you have something really heavy in here. Okay. Now we want to go over it because Sherry, wait, Sherry loves her origami because uh, the wheels talked about that. Gordon says, always great quality. Love my bronze origami. Right. Yes. Thank you, Gordon. I appreciate that. Ben says, I have an origami shelf in my dorm room Ooh. and it holds so much in such a little space with a heart it does like this is great for a dorm room are you kidding me great comment ben anna said are the shelves of the bronze a darker colored wood yeah so let's show the wood sure. it's a little hard to see absolutely oh, that's white here we go all so right you're gonna see it right here yeah so look at it again we've matched the different different tones of wood here to go with the different colors so yes you are getting that beautiful beautiful rich tone with that dark vintage bronze and i love that you guys love origami because if you have have a bronze origami at home. Any other origami in bronze, this is going to match. Any of the white, any of the grays. I mean, exactly. the colors, like, if you have the, Point we've blank. done a turquoise, like really cool kind of desk. Mm -hmm. That's gonna work back to the turquoise yeah. desk that we usually sell Absolutely. too. Absolutely. All right, a couple more comments too. I love this. Um, this Susan says, I already bought one of these in black. I use it in my kitchen to hold extra kitchen items mm -hmm. and extra spare uh, space for bulk items. I love it. Tracy wrote back, thank you, Tracy. And she said, I love origami because I can put it together myself and it's really pretty shelving. I have two in my pantry, one in my closet and one in my granddaughter's playroom. So again, love you to comment on Facebook. We're there live. I'm reading your comments. Say hi. Ask Tracy a question. She'll be glad yeah. to help you out. But this is the moment. If you really want to get a brilliantly versatile unit, get it tonight. And the only reason I encourage midnight is because I have all the colors. Mm -hmm. So who knows what's going to happen later on. But if they start to sell out, then unfortunately they're going to be gone. Always at midnight you get every one we have. And we're going to show you the colors again the white crazy popular it always is because it just goes everywhere from bathrooms to bedrooms to kids rooms wherever that platinum gray those of you who have that industrial look so slick i think it looks so good then we have the classic red oak the turquoise is that blue box turquoise mm -hmm. so if you're a girly girl and you know that blue famous blue box store that's that turquoise with a lighter oak the bronze has a dark walnut a wood accent black has the walnut white has the we have the white with the walnut so we have white white Right? Is that right? We have two whites? No, no. We just have the white with the walnut. Oh, that's weird. So we don't have oh, white, okay. white. We just have right, white we'll with the that. walnut. Ignore the white. Right. So ignore the first white. Is that yep. correct? Okay. So that's wrong. Uh, and then we have the navy with the oak. Yep. Miss Barbara in Alabama, thank you for joining Tracy and myself. You're on HSN. Hi, Barbara. HSN. Oh, hi. Hi. So hi, what, hi. how are we doing? What do you think? <laughs> uh, well, I bought this craft cart uh, the only other time I saw it on, uh -huh. it was some, some months back. And I even wrote an email that said, 
where is it? I want more. <laughs> Well, we so, listened uh, to you. We got your email and said, well, let's just make it a today's special. <laughs> yeah, like two days ago. Yeah, that was, that was cool. <laughs> we're, so, very, we're very responsive. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you are. I have about 20 pieces of origami oh, all wow. through my house. Wow. And I love them, and I mostly use them for the crafting. But, you know, books, uh, makeup, I mean, pick something. You know, the little desks, the little rolling tables. Um, this one's going to, I have the uh, original one set up for um, my Cricut and all the supplies sure and then this one's going to be for the Gemini and the die cuts well can I ask you a question Barbara because a lot of people look and say oh my gosh a shelf $139 mm -hmm. oh that's a lot of money what would you tell them I I, I can't imagine I how I even lived without these I mean mm -hmm. you just I pop it open yeah uh, I mean it's easy uh, the wheels are easy to put on I mean uh, the drawer stops. I have those four kitchen cart yeah. drawer ones, you know. Sure. I have four or five of those. I use them for all kinds of things. Yeah. Um, it, it's just, to me, it's worth it. They're sturdy. Yes. Um, I have the big, tall shelves with the new attaching shelves, you know. Yeah. And uh, those. You have a lot. That, right here, we got to come out with an origami couch for you. I know, right? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. The recliner. I mean, something, yeah. Yeah, more furniture. Well, Barbara, thank you for your time. It was great chatting with you. Well, thank and, you uh, for talking to me. Yeah. It was great. And, and it's a wonderful product. I've given it as gifts and told everybody about it. I love it. Thank you. Awesome, I think awesome. she's your number one origami fan. I know. I'll fan. take it. I'll take Thanks, it. Barbara. Thanks, Barbara. And Barbara no. picked up the okay. white with the, uh, the oak on oh, it, love too. It. Showing some different uses. Obviously, see we just saw the bathroom I love the office shoes you right. just showed over here mm -hmm. because guys if you're starting your own small business maybe you just don't have a homework space or an office space look this is a big old HP printer on right top. it's a full-size printer and then all that stuff we need to find like mm -hmm. daggone it where's the business size hey, envelopes I wanted to bring this up there oh, are a thousand great. pieces of paper in here Wow. Okay, so you know how heavy reams of paper are, but still notice how nice and easily it glides in That's and out. Point. So it's weighted down, and again, not a problem. Really easy to grip handles. This top shelf holds 50 pounds worth of weight. This holds 20 pounds worth of weight. Each drawer holds 10 pounds worth of weight. 13 inches off the wall, two feet long, and it stands three feet, nine inches tall. So again, full-size printers. I know you like to use this area as a workstation, yep. but I actually like to use this area um, for a laptop station. Oh, great so, point in the you kitchen. Know, yeah, absolutely. Okay, real quick. Um, hi, Judy from Texas. Um, Bridget says, I use the origami shelving for all my cookie-making supplies. I have hundreds of Cutters and my Christmas cookies. Finally all organized, loving it. That we have not heard of before. We know right. baking bakers love this, but for all the cookie cutters, of course, that's such a good idea. Kimberly says, I have this particular craft cart in bronze and white, and they're great. I've got other origami items as well. The desk, a shoe rack, and a large rack. Good, I'm glad you love it. Jules said, how much height is between the top shelf and the second shelf? Well, so how much well, height do we have right here? right here? We shall Let me grab my you. little handy dandy ruler let's go right so over B, here you want to do that so one? yeah we are, we're looking at i love that question because you do get a good height we're looking at 10 inches between that bottom shelf and that top shelf as well so a great Perfect. amount of workspace there or just a great amount of storage space but remember the second shelf is going to give you 20 pounds worth of weight as well so i mean extremely sturdy you're talking wood and powder yeah, coated like, steel like you're not going to get better things to make than this that this isn't particle board no it's going to get all loopy on you right uh, okay bridget wants to know let's see oh she's saying i have the perfect spot in newly remodeled bathroom awesome. the turquoise is retro amazing totally agree with you my husband's favorite color he wants it for his shop that's awesome Love it. now um don wants to know would this work for crochet items and steam st uh, um, skeins of yarn. Okay, let's go back to the one that has the cricket, and you can see all of the yarn oh, yeah. down there at the there bottom. Oh, look, honey, you're gonna be so yes. happy. Oh, look at that. It holds a ton of stuff. <laughs> and do you know what's really funny? This isn't completely full. No, we and you were laughing about that earlier. Like, you can put a lot more stuff I did, in here. I was like, you guys didn't even <laughs> pack these out. But look, full-size uh, albums, that's not even full. Mm -mm. The 12 by 12 papers, eight by 10. I Look at this, look. They, they just put a team, they, it would have cost them $8,000 to prep these. But guys, 
Look, I have all this extra space. Yeah. They just spread it out to make it look good. You just hold a ton of stuff. And all you right, know what? Jo I, oh, I'm oh, sorry. sorry. No, you know what I love about it is notice the mesh. Okay, it's really, really a fine mesh. So you know those intricate pieces, like even sequins. If I dumped a whole thing of sequins in here, none of that's going to fall between the cracks. That's another great feature as well. Oh, that's true. You know, so yeah. it's, it's like you know you'd hate to spill something in there and then it all fall on the floor. It's not going to do that. That's a that's great such a feature. Great point. All right, let's say hi to Joan in New Jersey. Hi, Hi, Joan. Joan. You're on with Tracy Hi, and Suzanne. Good evening, ladies. And to you, welcome. Thank you. Um, I actually have this piece of origami. Good. And I absolutely love it. Why do you love it? And what are you using it for? I use it for all my craft things. I'm a, a card maker, and I've got tons of little this and that, and they all fit in that those drawers perfectly. Yeah. Isn't it lovely? And do you roll it around, or do you keep it in place? I keep it in place, mm -hmm. and the main reason I love origami, uh, not only because it's made beautifully, but I'm a widow, I live alone, mm -hmm. so if I get something and I can't put it together, I'm at a loss. Right. This, it arrives in the box, I open the box, and it's so easy to put together. Isn't it nice to know when origami arrives, it's not a, a 10 day process? Oh, yes. <laughs> you just and you go, don't have to oh. read the directions upside down and backwards. Right. right, and you have a whole bunch of nuts and bolts left that you don't know what to do with. You're like, uh oh, <laughs> this isn't good. No worries there. Well, Joe, wonderful. Would you encourage others to try this tonight? Oh, I, I would recommend this to anyone. I love this awesome. piece. I love it. Well, thank you so much, and have a great evening. Thank you so much. All right, thanks. Okay, I got a quick question. Can't, sure. Jeff says, can't wait to get my first origami. I've been waiting for two tiered racks and the tray table for some time. Uh, there's a couple of more items I want to, LOL. Um, also, we're getting a question on the stopper. Can you just kind of show how the stopper works? I know you don't have them out here. Yeah, but. no, okay, let's see if I can pull. Let, all right, let's get this one out right here. All right, I'm bringing this turquoise out. Let's see if you, we can get in here. If you can take a look. Um, again, super, super easy to assemble. But do you see this little black stopper right there? Um, can you see that there? Okay, perfect. Oh, perfect. So those are the little rubber stoppers. You're gonna get two per shelf. Okay. So what does that do? Well, that. Oh, and they just pop they down They just pop in. in there. They're little holes They're like in little there. like little tabs. Yes. You just stick them down. And so what you do is you put the card in, and then you just go ahead and put the rubber stoppers in. So like I said, if you have something heavy up front here, or let, you don't want to pull it all the way out and everything come, in, right. come out, maybe you, you question your strength or something, there you go. You, you have those wonderful stoppers. You put the stoppers in for the kids. Oh, put great idea. Put all their puzzles yes. and toys and all that. Say, so kids, put your stuff away, and they toddle over, and they can do it without ripping the whole um, thing out. Exactly. So, also, too, don't forget you can do it with wheels or without wheels. A lot of people don't use the wheels because yeah. they, once they set it up, they never take it down. And you can lock those wheels, too. All right, so we talked about all oh, the dimensions on the inside of the drawer. We kind of covered that one. Also, thank you, our HSN rep. They're adding some answers for me. Bob said, is the quality, is it like the four-shelf folding racks? Uh, these are worth it. Oh, if the quality is like the four-shelf folding racks. Yes. I will quite frankly tell you this is so stable and so sturdy, Bob. I would 100% get this. I would absolutely recommend it. There's no, I, I think this is going to be and continue to be a huge customer pick. And we're doing so much tonight, but I even have some reviews. And if you guys go on hsn.com, I know y'all love between the everything I got in my hands, but if you go to hsn.com, oh, where are the You will see. Oh, thanks, guys. They're going to put them up. Here we go. This one is um, Gam in California. I ordered this for my daughter who's an artist. She loved it so much she asked me to order her another one. Uh, Kingsland in Virginia. Purchased for my daughter to use in her kitchen. Very functional. Occupies a small footprint. She loves it. Philby in Massachusetts. Now I have my own little crafting corner and this unit made it easy. And that's really a neat thing too because a lot of times we have our crafting supplies just all over the place or it could be your baking supplies or it could be mm -hmm. your sewing stuff or your quilting stuff and it's everywhere and when you sit down to do a project it's very frustrating and you kind of give up because you can't find everything. Right. Once you get one of these origami shelves, all of a sudden you open and go, there's my embellishments. Oh yeah, there we go. There's my ribbon. There's my whatever. There's my stamps. And all of a sudden you can get and take that little sliver of time when you just want to create a fun little card for your best friend mm -hmm. and you can get it done without having to search and dig. It's just all right here. And I love so much what Joan said a minute ago because I find myself in the same situation. When I have that 
only a few minutes amount of time to get organized. It has to be done on my time. So I can't wait for a handyman, for a husband, for anybody to come and help me. And it gives you, it actually feels really good. <laughs> I don't know, to put this, I hate the word assembly because if it comes in more than, um, if it comes with screws and if it comes with the um, tool, that's basically like, um, that's engineering to me. That's not assembly, you know, sure. that's building. So again, remember, this is powder coated steel too. And I want to just stress that because that means it's not going to rust, it's not going to chip, it's not going to corrode. It's not painted. It's chemically adhered. That paint is chemically adhered. Look at these wonderful, wonderful mesh drawers. Like I said, nothing is getting through these. Even the smallest sequins, beads, anything like that, it's going to stay nice and neat in these drawers. And because it is that powder coated steel, this is perfect for your bathroom. I mean, imagine all of the stuff you're going to, you could pack in here, your makeup, your nail polishes, all of your hair supplies, all of uh, our magic tricks, everything. And this, look at this is what you're talking about, Suzanne, with the little boy. Look. You know, he can't, he can't pull that all the way out on him because they've got the stoppers in. But that's it looks so fantastic smart. in your room as a drawer. You could put a small TV on the top of this and it can be a TV stand. that's a great stand. point. And then great that. in the bathroom like I talk about. So I got to tell you a funny story. So yeah. Teresa's on here. She says, I have one of these and love it. I'm thinking about ordering a second one. If only the UPS man would bring it when my husband is at work and I can sneak <laughs> it into my craft room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you I love it. I'm not sure that will happen, but why not? Give it, it a shot. Um, oh, we do have someone. Jan wants to know, do the hooks work uh, to hang on the sides of it? You know the little origami hooks we have that go on the sides of the kitchen cart? Um, I, I don't think so. I don't so. think so. Yeah, and just it's not, in all it's honest, not made that way. Because no. you wouldn't be able to get the shelves out. Yeah, and the, and the, those are a little, a little deeper. Remember, this is that footprint. It's 13 inches off the wall with, again, a six-drawer system. So we're literally maximizing a ton, <laughs> almost four feet of vertical storage okay, space. Okay, so. here we go. Real, real quick, yeah. um, and I'm going to say your name wrong. Kaija wants to see the black and bronze together. All okay. right, here we go. Okay. Here we go. You, you, bring, okay. you bring black, I'll bring bronze. There we go. And look, it's because we can. And this one is, he I mean, this is packed out with stuff. It's very, you can tell, look how easy it rolls. It's so look at fluid. That. Look at that. I'm doing a one-handed, too, for I God's love sake. how she was totally in on it. Look at it. It is a very okay, here similar wood finish up top here. Okay, look at that. But there you go. I mean, talk about can rich. Can you guys see the difference here? There we go. Oh, oh, perfect. Okay, there you go. There's your black. And there's the vintage bronze. And I, you can see the wood tones. The I same. know we're getting crazy, but can you shoot both of these together? Oh my gosh. <laughs> can you imagine doing a whole row of crafting hobby what? happiness? Or what about built? I mean, this could replace built ins. Built ins. So right. Oh would, my would gosh. That be heavenly? Yeah, that's awesome. All right, so Tracy's hanging out with me for the rest of the night, so we'll see her a little bit later. Guys, thanks for hanging out with me on Facebook. Got tried to get to most of your messages and your questions, so I hope to help you out there. Um, don't forget, we have um, a really cool thing that's going on and it's a great day to do it because our origami shipping is five dollars so now everything else that you buy throughout the rest of the next 24 hours in crafting is shipping for free you get this today special and everything else ships for free today or once you hit a five dollar shipping so you know you have three dollars here two dollars there then everything else ships for free it's a very rare thing we do for 24 hours and it's only for our crafting events all right coming up Zyron if you just got that big old tape runner that would cost you the price of this entire kit it's a this day only which means a one day price it's like a mini today special customer pick because if you're watching tonight you got to take what you have and you got to stick stuff onto other things and Zyron is the way to do it and it's a really nice collection also coming up next hour you know, I think it's really sad. A lot of us have a lot of old films, eight millimeter films. Maybe you have a ton of slides. You haven't seen them in years because nobody has a projector anymore. Well, now you can transfer them. And this is from Wolverine. It's the Titan Scanner. It's quick, it's fast, it's easy. We had a nice price break and flex pay on that. And it's coming up next hour. So if you've got all those old slides and you want to bring them to life and print them out or even see what's on them and keep them from deteriorating, we've got the answer for you. All right, so stick around with us. We got a lot more coming up. Two big hours of crafting goodies, so please stay right there. Hey, did you know that you could stream both HSN and HSN2 live anytime, anyplace? With just the click of a button on your phone, tablet, computer, or smart TV, you're connected to the latest and greatest we have to offer. And with HSN2, there's always something different from what's currently airing on HSN. Just head over to hsn.com or open your HSN mobile app and start watching. Labellum for HSN is boho, modern, flattering, and comfortable.
always had an interest in fashion and being able to incorporate the inspiration from my music and what's comfortable for me to wear on stage and always looking good but enjoying what I'm wearing. That was important to me. The LaBellum woman is truly every woman. My singular goal is to improve the quality of people's lives. Everything we do is intended to be unlike any other company of our kind. We just make exceptional vitamins so you could have exceptional health. It's not important that you get the products I'm offering, but it's very important that you get the information I'm sharing because information is the key to being a healthy person. HSN. Showstopper, and it's one of my all-time favorite items. I got a lot of items from HSM, but this is one that I've had for years and years and years, and I continually go back to it. Just used it the other day because I'm making a notebook of information. Anyway, Amber's joining me. She's a fabulous blogger. Hello. Hey, Suzanne. Damask Love, right? Yeah. Did I get it right? Damask Love is here. Right. And she's here. telling you all about the crocodile. That's her blog site, too. It is. It is. It I is. love my crocodile. I have every version they've ever done. Everyone loves their crocodile. And if you are not part of the crocodile club, girlfriend, today is the day because we have a bundle for you that is going to get you started with your crocodile and you are going to love it. It is the tool that you can not only use for crafting, but I'm telling you, you're going to use it around your house for things you never even knew you needed it for. What you're getting is the crocodile crocodile bundle which has the pink crocodile inside as well as 100 eyelets and a carrying case so everything tucks neatly into the carrying case but I just want to show you what the heck this thing does because it's so cool if you take a look at it it looks kind of intimidating at first but essentially what it is is a heavy duty hole puncher that also allows you to set grommets and eyelets of different sizes so what that means is I can take this tool and use either the um, larger punch side or the smaller and punch through every material you ever thought of this right here here is a thick chipboard. I'm going to take my crop dial and and it's almost effortless. It, it really is effortless. So good. It, and you punch a hole right out of it and I'll show you again a piece of chipboard punch and you get a hole just like that. Now, why would you need to do that? Well, I can create beautiful chipboard banners mm -hmm. out of little pieces of chipboard that I can get from the craft store that you just have left over. So that's one thing that you can do. But let me show you all the other items that you can punch with the crop dial. This is um, these uh, like metal tins that you, you get, get from the, the craft store. Dollar store. From, from like the dollar store. Yeah. And believe it or not, you can take this tool and punch through tin just like that. And I can take it and I can add some eyelets and add a little bow and fill this up with treats. Now, in addition to the hole punching feature, you also have these eyelets, which I'm gonna show you how those work. So I'm gonna use that tin again and punch another hole, just like that. And I got that hole through the tin, very, very simple to do. And you're also seeing both sides, sizes now. Exactly, so you're seeing the smaller hole that it punches and the larger one. I'm gonna put place in the eyelet that you get with the crocodile and this is the side that I use for punching holes. Right here in the center is what I use to set the eyelet. So instead of leaving that raw edge on the um, on the tin, which might, you know, could, could kind of hurt you, I'm gonna set that eyelet just like that and punch it into place. So I can do that with any material. You know, I've used some, I've used tin so far, I've used chipboard, but of course, you know, we all love crafting with paper, so you can use it with paper as well. So I can take my crop dial, punch a little hole right there. I'm gonna use a larger one. Let's turn that over. So you have two sides, punch, add one of your 100 eyelets that comes with your, your kit, and then you're going to set it. So you just stick it in the middle, just like that and you set it. Now, can you show them the different types of settings you can do? Exactly. Because so, this is really clever. So, depending on the size of your eyelets, some eyelets are wider, some are smaller, you can turn, we'll have to get close here, but you can turn this little wheel 
depending on the type of eyelet you're using, and then you push it back into place. And the same thing on this side. Is and you're gonna get all of those thing? instructions when you get your crocodile home. This is a tool you're going to use again and again and again. You well, reach we, for it we, all the time. We have a lot of people do leather crafts. First oh. off, it makes the most beautiful holes on leather. So like, here's a piece of tooling leather. You know, the most embarrassing thing is I had belts at home that I had to get <gasps> more yes! holes. Oh my gosh. I, need, I used it a lot for that. Unfortunately, gained a little yes. weight. Had to you make my belt a, punch a little longer. You need to punch another hole. Go, like butter. It goes this through is like a butter. piece of tooling leather. So this is yeah. like the thick leather that would be on yeah, a belt. On a belt, And yeah. I'm going to take my crocodile and I punch a hole right through it, just like that. And you could not and, do this with a regular hole punch. zero effort on your hand. Like, it's not like you're you know, kind of having to press down on it. Now, I want to mention, we have an additional eyelet bundle. I have 500 available. It's really limited with 360 more eyelets. So if you want to go eyelet crazy, and I love eyelets. It's a really beautiful way, especially on cards, to attach anything, whether it's ribbon or whatever you want to do. These are the additional ones that we have, and there's 350 in that pack, and that's available for $14.95. Also, we have two flex on, we have flex on a ton of things tonight, but it's only available for today. So if once the day's over, that two flex isn't going to be an option on the crocodile. I think this is just, and it's so well built. It's, it's it sturdy is and it's sturdy. Oh, and yeah. I will tell you, so you will have, when you, when you clamp it closed, there is a little lever here that keeps it kind of clamped in a closed position. And then when you're ready to use it, you open it back up. This right here is a piece of very stiff, um, like a artboard, and I can cl clamp right through it with my crocodile just that easily. It's so, so simple to use, it's incredible. Right here I have the same piece of artboard that I can, I can decorate and punch just like that. So easy to do, it's such a great tool. And one of my favorite things to do, I, I just did this actually on my blog recently. This is a piece of um, particle board. It's thick, this is the stuff that you make like um, furniture, furniture out of. Out of. <laughs> right. And I'm going to show you I can punch a hole right through it. And what I did with my particle board, I covered it with paper and I turned it into my own custom clipboard. Oh, cute. By punching holes right there and then putting in the clip just at the oh, top. Oh, So super you cute. really can get creative with new materials. The things that you were afraid to craft with before because you felt like paper was the easiest thing, this tool is going to open up a world of possibilities for your crafting. Do you know what I just crafting. recently did? I got all these little kind of uh, creative little cards I put into some of the things that I love to make for my friends. And and I needed to hang them on the bag, mm -hmm. on it, like a tag, oh, yeah. like a business tag. And so I got the business cards made, and then I grabbed my crocodile and literally went through probably five of them at a time because it can handle oh, multiple yes, yes, layers. Yes, yes. So if you're just punching holes, I was also making a book for some friends of mine. It's kind of like a, you know, flip book. And I needed to punch holes equally, and I used it for that. I mean, you'll find once you have it at home, you use it for a lot of different things that were kind of unexpected. This really, w the size of it, you can't let that fool you because it's so so powerful this is a piece of wood it's um like you get it at the craft store again i'm going to show you again I can punch this, and now I've created a wooden tag that I can hang on a gift that's a different material than you're used to using because you're used to crafting with paper, but now you don't have to be afraid of grabbing these types of materials because you have a tool that will let you use Plus them. Plus, it makes clean holes all the time, and if you ever try to, here's how, what we, we should have shown. We should have got an old way to set eyelets because you had to have a hammer and a tool, and you would bang your fingers <laughs> so often. Remember back in the I, day? I have these in my studio, yes. Oh, yeah. I know exactly I, what you're talking about. And you take about. this little teeny hammer, and, and you're And you trying, bang it, and then the people below below you and the floor below you think really you are mad. doing something really well, terrible. Plus, you hit your finger. And then always, I swear to God, the eyelets were bent wrong. Yeah, they never they sat correctly. They were never set right. This it sets me crazy. evenly every single time. This is a plastic bucket that you could also Cute, use for, like um, you know, little gifts. But I can punch right through that and create, you know, a little tag here or put a bow. But this is just an example of all the materials you can use. So far, I've done chipboard. I've done particle board. I've done artboard and wood and leather and paper and metal and plastic. There's so many things you can do. We have all these samples here showing you how you can use this kind of in your everyday scrapbooking and card making, of course, to create beautiful like, look at embellishments the, your little treat and the bag, little treat though. bags. Just if you want to do little tea treat bags, how cute! And you can add be? those little grom those eyelets right there because if you grab that upsell with all of those beautiful colors, oh, you have a full rainbow of eyelets that you can use with your crop dial. This is a tool that you will go to again and again. I use it all the time. And you buy it once, swear. And you don't you never have to buy it again. No, it, it will it's last. Almost it will last. indestructible. It, <laughs> it is. It, you, it will hurt you before you hurt it. <laughs> <laughs>
Thanks for hanging Thank out. Thank you so much. Okay, dokie, okay. you want to remind you of our today's special. By the way, I love some of the extra comments. There's a gal who's a kindergartner teacher, and she says, my kindergartners get to my little today's special craft cart, and she said they can actually get their own stuff and put it away, and I thought that was adorable. Also, let's see, uh, let's see. We have another couple comments. What dress is Suzanne wearing? Well, I am wearing a slinky sweater, but the dress is my own, so sorry about that. I wish I could get these dresses on the air. I'd love that. Um, all right, uh, Elizabeth just got her turquoise one. Yay, Elizabeth. And it is Nicole. She goes, my kindergarten students were able to retrieve paper, markers, erasers, glue sticks, etc., by themselves, which saves me so much time. Yay, Nicole, you are a smart educator, and we appreciate being a teacher. All right, we got to keep moving on. We got a lot more to go. Um, by the way, almost a thousand have now been ordered. What is the most popular and the most limited color, if you will, Mr. Rick? Red is the most limited and the most popular? Is the turquoise? I love you guys are loving that turquoise. And navy's starting to get limited. Oh, very good. If you missed out on it, we'll take another look at it at the end of next hour. So stay with me. Okay? I bought two white ones. Is did that you wrong? buy two? Yep. Why did you buy? What are you going to use them for? So one this for our gift This is Beth, by the way. <laughs> I'm here to talk about my shopping habits. Um, gift wrapping station <gasps> and Cricut cart. Oh, perfect. Obviously. Which is... Cricket, if the easy press is fit inside. It's so the, your easy press fits down in there. Girl, yes. Oh, good. And yes. you know what? You have so many accessories with Cricket. You need yes. one individual space. Well, for and not to not talk about this, but we're also <laughs> a military family and we move a lot. So to be able to fold those up and oh, I have a, everything. Move. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. Okay, so if Beth Kingston bought two, you might want to think you about it. <laughs> all right. Because so I might buy them all. Whenever we have a big crafting day, we have to have Zyron because they're number one yeah, when it comes do. to adhesive and a whole lot of things. Yes. I've been using Zyron for years. So we're always going to stick something to something and thus we turn to Zyron. Yes. And this bundle is one of my absolute favorites. Um, we sold out of this before and it's back in stock and and we have the green color back, which sold out Ooh. like hotcakes. Remember last time we were yeah. here? So that is back. So if you've been waiting for that color, grab all you can. Or purple. Or purple. Um, so we've got the Mega Runner, the one and a half inch sticker maker, the magnet tape, and the three inch sticker maker. All of this, here's the trick. This by itself, Suzanne mentioned before, is $25 at retail. All of this is $24.95. Mm. $25 by itself. $24.95 altogether. They're so, I want to show you what everything does. I know we're short on time because it's a lot to go through. And explain which ones refillable and which aren't. Yes, so okay. the Mega Runner comes with 100 feet of adhesive. This one is refillable. So easy, you just open it up, pull out the refill, put it back in. So this uses a dot matrix adhesive. Why is that important? So I'm going to use this very gently on this real intricate die cut card. Cut with my Cricut, thank you very much. <laughs> so you'll watch as I roll this across, instead of an actual layer of tape, it's little tiny dots. And so why is that important? Because when I pick it up, there's no adhesive where there's no paper. And where's my finished sample? It's gone into the wilderness. Oh well, it was awesome. It's super we'll cute. We'll talk when about it's that later. That's right. We'll find it before the But you can see that there's no adhesive. See all those little tiny windows and such? There's absolutely nothing there. So then I can turn it into a really cute card or I can lay it down on this piece of paper and we can talk about other things. So let's talk about graduation is coming, printables. This is a free printable that I got online. It's super cute and you're thinking, okay, congrats, pants. What does that mean? I take this Mega Runner. This is for all those people who want to be Pinterest moms, but oh, don't think they have hands. the time. Look at how cute that is. And that's on. <laughs> this is Zyron adhesive. Once it's on, it's on for good. Think about all those projects you've seen on Pinterest. Think about all those yeah. um, classroom oh, projects, class pro summer projects, your birthday kids, your parties. Kids class projects. All of those. Okay, we have about four minutes to go. I have 850 available. Ow. And again, green or purple. This is really limited, and it's supposed to be on all day, and we need it for yeah. everything we're going to stick. <laughs> it's stuff it's to. not going to be on all day. So then you're getting the three inch and the one and a half inch sticker maker. Each of these have 20 feet, so that's 40 feet of adhesive. These are 100% recyclable. People said to Zyron, hey, you know what? We wish you made things that were recyclable, better for the planet, and Zyron said, okay, and so we did. What are these? These are actual sticker makers. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this little tool, actually I'll take the black part, insert it into the machine. What's great about this, if you've owned some of the other machines, I can actually touch the sticky part, there we go, to, so I can go ahead and insert it exactly where I want it, pull it through, give it a little bit of a rub, if you are someone that is buying any of the die cut uh, mm -hmm. die machines we're gonna have today, we've got the uh, Cricut Gemini's on later, we've here, got Cricut's Diamond on. Press, Gemini, all those little tiny die cuts, how do you put them together? Look at how beautifully this layers. And oh, by the way, this entire card, Father's Day is coming, 
How this cute. entire card with all these intricate dies made with these sticker makers. This is how you create those projects that you've seen online. If you're buying anything today, if you bought any of the good clearance stuff we had on earlier, this is how you're gonna do it. Let's talk about the magnet tape because it could be my all time favorite Xyron product <laughs> in the history of the world. Suzanne knows that I'm obsessed with it. So. <laughs> This is just like regular tape. You're getting 25 feet. So if you're doing the math, that's 165 feet of different types of adhesive for less than you would pay for the Mega Runner by itself. Magnet tape, pulls out just like regular tape. It's got little teeth, tear it. So you can use bigger chunks of it. You can also tear it into little tiny pieces. What does it do? It turns absolutely everything into a magnet. So let me get my fancy magnet board out here for one second. I got all my projects on here. So. Those magnets you've got laying, or those menus you've got laying around your house, a little piece of magnet tape, great. Pictures, perfect. Wanna make your own magnets? Okay, fine. Suzanne and I have talked about this before. It's one of my favorite ideas of all time. If you have someone getting married this year, if you have a baby, will you hold my magnet oh, for me? certainly will. Thank you so much. <laughs> Imagine sending out your wedding photos as magnets in your thank you notes or your engagement photos. All I do is I take the photo, take a little piece of tape, that's turned into a magnet. You're getting 25 feet. I used probably an inch and a half on there. How about those fun embellishments? This is a cute felt beach ball. How about turning that into what? A magnet. 25 feet of this is coming inside the bundle. Okay, and just to remind you, this alone, if you went to your local crafting $25. store, which would not be coupon ready. I don't think you can use coupon. That these. is correct. Siren doesn't look that. Um, right. This is $25 by itself. So again, you're getting how many feet of? You're getting a hundred in here, a hundred, uh, 20, so 165 feet of different kinds of adhesive, right. magnet tapes, uh, sticker makers, tape runner for less than you would pay just for that. And we only have 700 sets left. Oh, um, green is going to be the first to sell out oh, again. See, everybody loves so If you want the I green. green. And I've never even seen the green. Okay, isn't that funny? I've only ever <laughs> seen the purple because it like has not been in stock. Suzanne. She did well, it wasn't in stock. Because but I, I love, love you though, I'm making you a little treat. So we're talking about printables again. I got this for free on the internet, punched it out. Take one, lay a toothpick on, put another one on. Um, Cupcake toppers are so, this is for you, my friend. Cupcake toppers are so huge now. You have to pay to buy them at the store. You can buy like a dozen on some of the online sites. You can make this for free using your well, Zyron. Just for pennies. Just for pennies. Oh, and yeah. look, instead of cutting it, punching it into a circle, I made it into a square. How about a cute little favor bag? These, you are getting these printables for free online and creating all of these fun projects for $24.95, 165 feet of adhesive. And if you get a little bit of time and you want to get a whole bunch of stuff done, Xyron's the way to go. Oh it's my gosh, It's so easy and yes. fast and quick. If you're trying to use glue sticks or you're trying to use glue or something you write on with, it just doesn't work. Or double stick tape, you don't have that's to a wait. hot mess. You don't have to wait for anything to dry. This is ribbon, by the way. <laughs> We're now making right. custom in, uh, adhesive self All right, my love, we're wrapping oh, up. Oh, okay. It is bye a bye. this day only, which means the price is only good for today, but I only Absolutely. have 600 left, so I don't think it's gonna make it later. And, this and we have two go. flex pays only for today, and oh, there are perfect. only 200 left of the perfect. green. Oh, I think shoot. That. We'll it's see you cute. around a little bit later. I'll be here. Bye, honey. All right, we got a lot to talk about. Hot off the press. Yeah, let me give you a quick update on this. This is still to come uh, in the show today, and it is our card making design and toolkit with the DVD. Now, here's what's really interesting about this, is you get this great kit, and what it is, is, is how often do you say, I just wanna be able to really make a cute card almost anywhere I go. Well, if you're using traditional die cuts, um, you have gotta have a machine and crank, and it's all this stuff. Imagine having to trace, cut, and make. That's all you do. It's called trace, cut, and make. It's a very easy system and they're completely reusable templates that allow you to create the most amazing cards and embellishments. We're gonna get to that later. It's four different looks and it's fascinating. In fact, I was talking to the guest who's gonna be joining me. There's an entire company, there's a company out there that only specializes in those. That's what they do. And Hot Off The Press is one of the leaders in that category. So we'll see them and we'll talk about that a little bit later, but it really is a unique system. All right, we're not done yet because we have one of my favorite dyes 
dyes that I've ever used, and we actually have a choice of two different ones. If you go to my YouTube channel, which is Suzanne Runyon YouTube, you'll see I've done not one, but two different ideas using, quite frankly, just the circle dye. I did a card instruction, and then I did just circles out of tissue paper, and stuck them, hot glued them onto a $1 paper lit lantern, and hung it outside for a party. And that's all with just this, but it does a whole lot more. So here are your two choices on our Crafter's Companion um, kinetic dies. You have the circle die, which you're seeing right there, and then we have what's called decorative sentiment. Where's mm -hmm. decorative right sentiment? Up here. Oh, thank you, love. There it is. Oh, that's to go inside it. Yeah, that, that goes inside it. Okay, so this actually goes inside the circle mm -hmm. so you can change up the different sayings inside it, which is pretty cool. And the person who's helping me out right now is Jen. Hi, Hi. Jen, welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> um, I just wanted to point out that it takes virtually the exact same amount of effort to make a card that you fold in half as it does to make something Kind of cool really like this. These are the kinetic dies. And it's all about movement. That's sort of a fancy word to say like movement. And look at this. That's so cool. I mean, imagine being able to, with the exact same amount of effort that it takes, to basically fold your card in half, to be able to make something awesome, double-sided, that moves and swings like this. This is what I love about clearance events because, you know, we had this on the air, you know, a few months ago and it was a huge big configuration that came with lots of now we've pared it down you're getting the workhorse the heart dies. and soul the heart and soul of and by it. the way just to clarify the additional sentiments come with it yes this is the entire kit you get everything you don't have to show you don't right. have to choose it's not a choice of you don't have to get this extra it actually comes included with it so what's so revolutionary about this set and i'll show it to you it's this die right here because normally when we think about dies we think about cutting but what this die actually does is it cuts the circle but only embosses at the lines. So whatever die, and it'll work in any die cutting machine that you have. Of course, we're using the Gemini Junior here today, which you know works perfectly for the intricate um, backdrops. But look, you're lying this down just flat on the page. It will cut here, but only emboss, so you can have that perfect fold there. That way you get that movement all in one pass. Let me cut one out for you so Do you, you know, know what exactly I what I mean. you know mine while you're cutting it? Yeah. I actually took a picture for my son's graduation of him in kindergarten and then his grad picture. No, and I put the I'll kindergarten, the, the grad picture on the front and then when you flipped it open, it was his kindergarten picture on the inside. Oh, I love that I'm so much. I know, my, even my director was like, what? <laughs> it was so cute because you can flip it back and well, forth and look, see it's like a before I mean, and after. I mean, look what we've made. I mean, oh, so, there you this go. is there Sarah you and go. Simon. I mean, you can do all kinds of photo books like that. Just exactly what you're talking about. And then look at the baby. Oh, Sarah's cute. Babies. Oh my gosh, it's, we're putting multiples of them together. Yeah, I mean, that's oh, just so next level. I mean, I, I really jumped the gun there. Really, we should be showing you how to cut out the worker die first. But really, I just placed it on the page here. I'm sandwiching it up. And this is the part... I'm, put, I'm using the Gemini Junior here. If you don't have a Gemini, get one while we while you can. They and, always. And we're going to put the information up for it right now. It's finally back. Yes, after selling out every time it's been on the air, one sixty nine ninety five. It's crankless die cutting and embossing, which is great. And you guys have made it a customer pick, which does not surprise us, does it, Jen? No, it's it's an, it's an amazing machine. It's great. And what it's done here is it's die cut and embossed all at once. So I've put so the die is in here. It's it cut through the middle and oop, there it's cut through the middle I can just bend here okay and that's how I'm getting that perfect perfect there we go and now I'm able to do that here we go come on Jen live on TV let's do it <laughs> <laughs> you know how it goes there we go and so now I can get that movement that we love. And then you can go ahead with the decorative. So I love, love, love being, so because I'm gonna use the um, decorative dies next, it all fits perfectly together. So these dies are also coming in the set. So now I just line these ones up. And what's really cool about it, you can use as much of these dies with it or as little. Yeah. So if you want to just do a really cool, like, contemporary card, don't do the decorative edges on it. Um, I love the circle that comes with it. I've used that circle a gazillion times. It, yeah, exactly.
Exactly, and the sentiment you can change out too. See, let me show you this, guys. It'll crack you up. Yeah, this so is... it comes with the circle. So you, you've got lots of different options. Sure, there's the circle that comes with right there. That circle is like a gem to me. It was almost worth the whole kit because, again, I've used it on so many cool projects. And because the Gemini and these are so beautifully made, I probably went through 25 sheets of tissue paper at once because I needed oh, a sure. ton of circles for my one oh, project. Oh, yeah, these, these dies are superior, superior quality dies. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about because any die cutter knows mm. to be able to get this sort of intricacy. Wow. Look at that. Wow. That's the Gemini and that's the quality of the dies gorgeous? right there. It just, but that's what you get with this set is be, to be able to do that level of detail and then to be able to do it in, let's say, a glitter cardstock. You know, you're not limited to just a thin, thin cardstock. You can go through those, you know, the, the glitter cardstock that's got the, you know, a bit of coating on it. Can you show the one over there, the blue and green one? That is really good, this the one, one way over. Oh, way over. Look at, look at this. And so we combine it that's with your embossing great. folders. So this is just your, one of your embossing folders using the um, edge part of the dies because you're getting all of the components. So you can see here we use the worker die. We're calling the circle one in the middle, the worker die, okay? So that you can see where that die cut that. And then you're getting the edges so I've just embossed and then added a little gilding Isn't wax that cool? with the edge there and then the other side rather than using you know or you can opt to do the the flowered Fancy inside one. exactly right. you've got so many options so this is a really great way I love this on a clearance show because it's just a great way to stretch your money and because you get two extra sentiments says thinking of you and from me to you so you're going to get all three and the main one says happy birthday so and then just think that circle is just like a before and after you will have so much How about fun with for this a baby kit. look at this one or double them up all we've done here is lay that worker die on one side and then again on the cute. other side so that you can get the double oh, swing. That's so the, cute. I mean, you would pay a, I mean, Oh, you would pay a mint in the store, but you couldn't even find this. I have, well, and we've got it here. Remember, you get the whole kit. It's at $24.95. It is very limited now. I have 850 left. There's not a lot of those. Okay, so what's happening today? Well, throughout the entire day, we're going to have a series of shows. Um, and if you uh, are shopping with us and you're buying any of our crafting items, once you hit $5 in shippings, that's all you'll pay for the rest of the day. So, for example, if you pick up our Today's Special, it's not a small Today's Special. It's not a teeny little box. Guess what? That's $5 shipping it means everything else throughout the day will ship absolutely free and I love the word free and that's huge because we don't do it often and normally it's only for our crafting in fact it's usually for just our 24-hour crafting events not an event like today where we have kind of a smattering of hours throughout the day so just want to let you know that is a big big deal and if you're on Facebook with me live because we're here all hour live let me know how much you love that five dollar shipping deal because it's Huge. It like would be huge. It's so much fun to stock <laughs> up because you buy a Gemini or you buy some big things like our Today's Special. Sure. It's just for free. It's like, that's fabulous. Wonderful. Hi, Gail. How are Hi. you? I'm pretty good. Welcome back. So I gave everybody a sneak peek at this. I saw that it's and I was excited cool. about that. And I love the idea. It's literally, you if you can draw and cut... Right. And stick it together oh, no. with Xyron. You don't even have to be able to draw. That's you can just trace. Trace. If you because can trace all of those shapes are right cut, there you're for making you. cool cards. Right. And you've got four design toolkits here. And there are perfectly designed, each one of these design toolkits, I'll show you. There's one, there's two. They're perfectly designed with shapes that are all together in one place, completely ready to finish a card from start to finish. That's what I love about these. This one is the labels. The layered labels. I'm going to turn it over here. It's got all of these different label shapes. And what I love about this is that you're getting more than one size. You're getting a smaller one to graduate it to larger. You're getting tips and hints on here. Lots of different layered shapes. And that's what a designed toolkit is, is getting all of that concept in one thing so you can finish a card from start to finish. For example, show it what that makes. Right. Just so, so start to finish, you trace, one of the, you cut, here, you stick it together. Let's, let's do for this one. Well, for this one, it's using here this one start to finish this one you want simply a focal on the center you can find one of those right here on the design toolkit number four this one has a vintage look it's got some kind of classic looks so you're just going to trace that onto your paper you trace it you cut it out you've got a focal now say you want something with a little bit more fancy design on an edge like this this is wonderful it's got a flat
flap edge here that's been cut and here, plus this great heart in the center, and that's going to be using mm. your decorative card flaps. You're just gonna take that, you know, find the edge that you want. I love that, that they're all put together so you can find it really easy. I love the really instructions easy. are on it. <laughs> right, so super easy to do. You're just gonna place How it on cute. the edge of your card just like that, and then you're cut it out, and you're gonna do that on the front. You can do it on the, on the other side too, so you've got that double flap. That's, That's nice. But it's also got these extra embellishments like that large heart. And you can trace another heart. It's got butterflies. Everything that's right there so you can add those embellishments to your card. Right. Love this one. With all of the flaps, like in a row, you can just add mm. those, cut it out on the edge, and that's super special. But if you need a little more extra instruction, you're also getting the computer DVD with right. it. Right. So that's you've great. got that to tell you how to use them. And it's got 40 different ideas. It's going to get you started right away. So you've got that computer DVD and you're getting 16 bright, fun papers that's really gonna get you started making the cards. And I just love that idea that you can do all of these different themes. Like here, we're gonna look at this one real quick. Mm -hmm. So toolkit number four, that vintage look, it's got a postage stamp edge, it's got tags, mm -hmm. it's got a hexagon, it's got all of these different shapes, stars and tinier tags. Celebration, that's for any celebration, for birthdays or whatever. And you've got balloons, you've got stars, You've got Here. the layered labels. You've got the um, the card flap edges, which I showed you. Which here's another one. Here's another card flap edge where you've got a flap on the front, on the top, and on the bottom, so you can open that up this way cute. and that way. So so adorable and, and so easy. Nice it's right the there for you. Really, if you haven't invested in, say, a Cricut, you don't have the Gemini, oh, you don't have a so cranky fun. machine, and you want to make really cl clever cards, so I think it's kind of almost um, relaxing and therapeutic. Oh, sure. Because you trace, you cut, and you stick it all together. That's right. This is the simplest and easiest <laughs> and most portable form of being